Captain Diddy Combs has been denied bail in connection with the sexual abuse and sex trafficking charges he faces. And as Les Trump reports, the music mogul who once traveled by private jet to all those mansions is now in a jail that is notorious for its bad living conditions. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs spent his first night behind bars inside a facility that is being called hell on earth. The Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn is notorious for its appalling living conditions and rampant violence. How bad is it inside this federal lockup? There have been two murders, four suicides, and numerous stabbings and lockdowns in recent years. It's so out of control inside that four federal judges are reportedly refusing to send any more prisoners here. Donald Trump's former fixer, Michael Cohen, spent a harrowing year in federal custody. He says for someone used to a life of luxury like Diddy, prison life is a severe shock. You have a desk, you have a plastic chair, you have your bed with a one and a half inch mattress, no pillow, and you also have a locker. So you basically have three feet by five feet to move around. So you have a basic 15 square feet. It is a horrible, horrible place. Diddy's lawyers were so eager to keep him out of jail, they offered his palatial $48 million home in Miami Beach and his private jets as bail. Today, they are even offering to restrict female visitors to his homes, except for his mother, daughters, and the mothers of his children if he is released. They told the judge the jail he was being sent to is dreadful, dirty, inhuman, and an ongoing tragedy. How's your dad doing? How's your dad doing? Family members appeared somber as they arrived at federal court in Manhattan today in another attempt to get out on bail. The judge cited Diddy's history of violent temper and potential intimidation of witnesses as reasons for keeping him behind bars. Diddy's former protege, singer Aubrey O'Day, is celebrating Diddy's downfall today. I feel validated, a win for women all over the world.